I was a minister, I went where the bishop told me to go. But now that I was retired, I could choose the church I wanted to go to. I didn't, you know, we didn't think about the distance. We were happy, you know, we don't even, we don't even think about it. It's an hour and a half drive. Mm -hmm. but, we, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Church is the most important part of my life. I mean, really, there's nothing more important than that. First Methodist has always been a part of my life because I was ordained uh, an elder there in 1970. And we, we, we didn't talk about John. I mean, just one Sunday we were sitting there, I believe it was Easter, and uh, we just stood up, all of us, the three of us, and we went there and we joined. Uh, my son uh, likes to be an Irish. One of the things I like about it is how he feels at home now. My son is a huge guy, he's a big guy. He's artistic. He's friendly, but you know, somebody that being could be very intimidating. And I noticed that at First Methodist, they just seemed to embrace him. It was so funny, one day he was trying to shake hands with a little girl, and she looked up at him, and she just <laughs> shook his hand. Uh, that's love. Remember Martin Luther King, he had a dream. He would be so satisfied, so pleased to see a church like First Methodist. I bet he would drive there too. I think that uh, First Methodist said, hey, we're inspired by your dream, and this is our dream. People from all over the world worship together, praying together, singing together, and loving each other. That is so awesome. Just being there makes you feel so good about yourself and about the people that you're around. And I know the church has made an impact on us. And it's making an impact on the people that are there and the people that they serve. It's, it's just a wonderful place to be. They have my respect. I'm glad to be a member of First United Methodist, East Texas.